here's meteorologist Helen Holt with your Storm Track 3 forecast. All right, we are taking a look at a time lapse at the Bladen Lakes primary Storm Track 3 weather cam. And it is beautiful, but it is chilly. Helen. Yes, I think it's a little deceiving because you're looking at that and you're like, man, it's so beautiful outside. And you needed a jacket yeah. today, definitely. We saw a lot of sun, but not a lot of warmth. <laughs> yeah. Good news, though. We have some uh, much warmer weather that's on the way, and we'll get okay. to that right now. I'll show you. I want to get to the good news. After a kind of winter-like weekend, we're going to have a big rebound heading into the new part of our work week, but we are going to see a cold front bring us back down to actually below average. But in the meantime, enjoy some 70s tomorrow into Tuesday and then showers and isolated storms possible as a cold front does move across the area Tuesday and then that cooler weather will return once again from the middle portion to the late portion of our work week. So right now we're just dealing with some high clouds moving across the area. Nothing that is producing any rain, but our eye is on this area of low pressure up to the north and west of us. This has actually produced some snow over into Michigan and now into parts of the New England states. That will stay as rain when it makes its way into southeastern North Carolina. No snow is expected, but we're going to be watching that cold front drop across the area as we go into our Monday. I think we'll hold off of those rain chances at least until Tuesday and it looks like it really is going to hold off to the Tuesday afternoon is a better chance of seeing some rubbles of thunder as well as some showers. So pinpoint future cast will show things will be quiet tonight, not as cold and temperatures will be in the 40s to start out our Monday morning. This is at 7 a.m. So you'll need the jacket tomorrow morning as you're heading out, but by the afternoon you'll be able to take that off as temperatures are going to be in the 70s pretty much wherever you go. I think the coastal spots will probably stay in the upper 60s, but no doubt a much warmer day for our Monday. Tuesday temperatures will actually stay around 60 degrees for the morning lows and in the afternoon those rain chances coming into play once again and temperatures staying at about 70 degrees with some areas to the inland spots a little bit warmer, but then after that cold front moves through, temperatures are going to be going down. You notice we'll be in the 70s the next couple of days. Our average high temperature is 73, and then look, as we stay below average for the middle portion, and then continuing into the weekend, we'll still be below that threshold of 73 degrees, but it looks like over the next seven days that there's no freezing temperatures in sight, so very good news as we're heading in to later into the spring season. So temperatures will be in the 40s tonight, partly cloudy, still chilly though. You'll need the jacket as the kids are heading out to the bus stop tomorrow morning. They'll be around 50 degrees by about 8 o'clock. So layer up, cool start, but by the afternoon you'll be able to take off that jacket and enjoy the sunshine that we're expected to see. Breezy at times though, coming out of the south 10 to 15 miles per hour and temperatures will be in the 70s. A dry day means high pollen counts, 10.2 tomorrow. That rain hopefully will get those pollen counts for at least a little bit. Rain chances may filter into the early portion of our Wednesday, but it looks like temperatures will overall be trending cooler. So enjoy the next couple of days as we'll be in the 70s tomorrow. Get out and enjoy it. Yeah, nice weather, but those with allergies, watch out. Yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, Tuesday will be your better day of seeing that rain and kind of washing that pollen away. All right, thank you, Helen.